Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, today we are going to start with the second session of the modern periodic table with the characteristics of element where we categorize the classification of element with respect to periods and groups. And they, in the modern periodic table where we have, we know that the groups are the vertical columns and the periods are the seven rows in the modern periodic table where we discuss the characteristics of element helps in the classification of element in the modern periodic table are valence electron, valencies, size of atoms, metallic character, chemical reactivity, nature of oxidize, gradation of physical properties, ionization energy, electron affinity and electronegativity where we have already discussed in last session with the valence electron with respect to periods and groups and today we will discuss and learn something about the valency of electron in the element which helps in the classification of element in the modern periodic table with respect to periods and groups so let's understand friends now the valency what is valency Friends, valency of an element measures its ability to combine with other element as the valency is determined by the number of electrons in the outermost shell of each atom of the element. So all the atoms with two or more electron shell are most stable when they have eight electrons in the outermost shell but only a few elements are naturally formed that way. For example, neon, argon, etc. They have eight electrons in the outermost shell which make them non-reactive and more stable. Most that just have one or two electrons in the outermost shell like lithium for example or six or seven like oxygen tend to react to combine the outermost electron with outermost shell electron of the other adjacent element to bond or to form more stable multi-element molecule which we call it a compound. So what do we conclude with the definition is the valency is the combining capacity of the element with other to form a compound. Now we talk about the metals, non-metals for the metals, it is equal to the number of electrons in the outermost shell of the atom. And for non-metals, it is the 8 minus the number of electrons present in the outermost shell. And if you talk about the transition metals, actually they show more than one valency in compound formation. So friends, now let's understand the valency of the element with respect to periods and groups. How? This characteristic help in the classification of element in the modern periodic table. First, let's understand by the period. Period, as on moving from left to right in the short period, the valency of electron increases from one to four, and then decreases to zero. As I have taken an example of the third period element where we have sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon. From this, we find that the valency of sodium is 1, magnesium is 2, aluminium is 3, silicon is 4, phosphorus with 3, sulfur 2, chlorine 1 and argon with 0 valency respectively. By this notation, we come to the conclusion that the elements in the same period have different valencies. Now let's understand the valencies with respect to group, where we already know that the every group with having elements have the same number of valence electrons. So the valency of all the group having the elements will have the same valency that is the number of valence electron in group is same so all the elements in the group have the same valency 
I have taken an example of the representative elements or you can also call them a main group elements. We have group 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 with valencies of group 1, B1, group 2, B2, group 13, B3, 14, 4, 15, 3, 16, 2, 17, 1 and 18, 0. This means we conclude that every group will be having same number of valence electron with the same number of valency. So now we conclude that the groups, the vertical columns having a same number of yes, valence electron with same number of valency and periods when we move from left to right we first increase from 1 to 4 and then we decrease to 0. So we have the different valencies in same period but we have same valency in same group. Now if you want to calculate the valency of an element what should we do? First we have some steps. First we should consult the periodic table of the element to determine the valency of the element. The periodic table we know that is organized by groups in rows and columns. And the element of group 1 to 8 have the same valency as others in their group. So all the element in group 8 have 8 electrons in the outermost shell and thus have a valency of 0. Element in group 1 have just one valence electron in their outermost shell, so thus have valency of 1, which means that they are very reactive. As we talk about the group 4, valency is 4 of all the elements like carbon are relatively stable. So group 4 and 6 elements like oxygen are also reactive as the 6 electron pair to complete the outermost shell to form an octate. Now, second step, we have to calculate the valency of electron using the total number of electrons. That is, the valence of the atom is equal to the number of electron in the outermost shell. If that number is 4 or less, otherwise the valency is equal to 8 minus the number of electrons in the outermost shell. The number of electron in each shell of the atom is regular. So if you know that the number of electron in the atom, then you can calculate the valency. That will be the same. All atoms except hydrogen have two electrons in the first electron shell and up to eight electrons in each succeeding electron shell. For example, carbon has six electrons, two in the first shell and four in the outermost shell giving it a valency of 4. Respectively, oxygen has the 8 electron, 2 in the first and 6 in the outermost shell, which gives the valency of 2. Now, third step, how to calculate the valency of the multi-element molecule using the same procedure. For example, to determine the valency of ionic molecule, that is, if we talk about the phosphorus tetroxide, that is a PO4, four atom of oxygen and one atom of phosphorus, you multiply the number of valencies of four oxygen atom, that is valency 2, and then subtract it from the valency of phosphorus, that is having valency of 5, which reveals the valency of PO4, which comes out to be 3. Now this is the basic of what we want to know to calculate the valency of compound. We should know the valency of elements in the modern periodic table with respect to groups and periods. So here friends, I end up with my session of the valency. In the next session, we shall learn about the size of atom of the element which gives right to the classification of element that is with respect to groups and periods. So let's meet with the size of atom in the next session. Thanks for watching Edupedia World videos.